Why is the World Bank weaponizing itself against Uganda for the values of Uganda's resistance against homosexuality? My name is Pastor Martin Semper. I'm a scholar and a researcher on the subject of LGBTQ and the African resistance. In 2004, a conference in Johannesburg, South Africa, gathered all the leading homosexual ideologues and their funders. Amongst them was Hivos, the Dutch. Amongst them was UNAIDS. Amongst them was um, Hans Binswanger. He was a representative of the World Bank. And uh, the homosexuals gathered and they planned on how to take over Africa, how to become a pro-LGBTQ Africa, change our religion, change our culture, change our laws, change our human rights. And they've been in gas station for 20 years uh, on that campaign, opening branches, East Africa, West Africa, and Southern Africa. And so the African countries have come up with a resistance to it. And one of it is that we don't want homosexuality. We have made a law to make sure it cannot be promoted. And now, this morning, we just heard that the World Bank, Anjay Banga, uh, the CEO of the World Bank, said that they are suspending funding to Uganda of any future financing. And that somehow our law, the parliament that has passed our law, is against the values of the World Bank. Well, let me just share with you. This is like coming, you, you yourself sat down. You sat down and planned how to take over Africa. You uh, and your leaders, including uh, Hans Binswanger, he's an LGBTQ man. He came into World Bank covertly. And then after time, he began to weaponize himself, gathering other homosexuals, claiming that somehow the World Bank funding wasn't getting on the grassroots, which is not true. But the effort was weaponizing and hijacking the World Bank to use it as a, a bully, as, a, as, a, as a, a, a sledgehammer to break Africa's moral, religious and culture to accept homosexuality. And that's wrong. So Anje Banga, I want to tell you that Africa, we have not been involved in sitting down to come up with the co corporate values of the World Bank. You cite uh, 2016 environmental and social impact uh, assessment. We were not there. You didn't have us sitting down. We're stakeholders. It's a bank, for God's sake. It's not a, you're, not, you're not determining theological doctrine of what's right doctrine and what's wrong. You got no reason being here. Stop being weaponized. Anje Banga, you're becoming the bad wiser of international financing. Stop pushing transgenders on us. Stop pushing LGBT uh, female mutilation on us. We don't want it. How many ways do we can we say that? And listen, you, I, I just want to let you know, you're making a huge mistake. It, you're not giving us donations. We pay back that money. We the taxpayers. We the Ugandans. We the Africans. Stop using and weaponizing financial services for homosexual LGBT cultural domination of Africa. We reject it. And lastly, you're making it more uh, BRICS becomes more important. This August, the end of August, BRICS in South Africa. More countries are applying to join the BRICS because BRICS is not imposing itself that for us to get financial services, loans and grants, that somehow we have to accept sodomy. We have to change our African culture. No. We don't have, so more and more likely, we're going to do business with China. We're going to do business with BRICS. That's the way it is. I just think it's terrible to have you, World Bank, becoming a white savior, pushing on us this agenda of homosexuality because you've been infiltrated by homosexuals who are changing your values, weaponizing you, and creating unnecessary conflict. I just say, stop it. Stop it with the white savior complex. Stop with racism. Stop it with pushing African that we will somehow become like Europeans on this issue of homosexuality. No, we're not. We're not. Our church, our faith, our religions, our culture absolutely resist and reject the imposition of sodomy on us.